Here we are at the Virginia Creeper. Lots of people tell us, well, how do you go over Virginia Creeper? It's a big, it's a big, you know, uh, long vine. How do you, how are you gonna get that to me? How are you gonna put that in a box? Well, this is what we do. We grow them from seed, or and sometimes we grow them from cuttings. Grow them from seed, and uh, we know the magic stratification protocol to get a really good, uh, uh, to get all the seeds to pop all at once kind of thing and then the seeds are transferred and they're growing on in plugs like this and they grow and they grow and they grow and they don't stop growing and then what we do is and in fact here Kaylin's got got some in her hand that they grow and they kind of mat up like this and that becomes a problem for packing so what we do is we chop it back to about six inches of growth and the plant will come back right from that it's a very hardy plant uh, we get the uh, the roots all ready and primed for you and it'll put on strong growth after it comes out of the uh, dormancy. You just need to plant it where you want it and then you train a few of the tendrils up your uh, area that you want it to grow and it'll make that some of this gorgeous red color that we're seeing right now uh, due to some extra stress on the plant, uh, you will actually see in the fall. It's got a gorgeous red color. Check out Virginia Creeper. If you're in a warmer climate, do note that this can be a little bit invasive, but in on the on the colder climates, where if you're in a zone three or zone four, uh, it it's one of the nicest red fall colors that you can get in a vine.